Hello, so this video is going to be about adding some more entities to our canopy block that we did in the last video. So you need to go and check that first if you haven't seen it. But basically we made a dynamic block with adjustable north, south, east, west selectors so that we can adjust on the screen or into the distances directly into the properties. So I'm going to select that and right click block editor and I'm going to save this as a new block and I'll call it arb tree. And before I go any further, I'm going to need some more layers. So I'm going to add a layer called Arb RPA, which is going to be the root protection area circle, and Arb Tag, which will be the the, the tag text. And another one for arb symbol, which is going to be a colored spot in the middle of the tree. And I'm just going to set that as a sort of neutral purple color. It won't be a category color. It will be for when it's unset. You'll understand what I mean later. And I'm going to close those. And I also need a textile. So I'm going to create a new textile and call it ARB. And just set it to a rile with a height of 0.7. Okay. So, I'm going to start with a RPA circle and switch my grid and grid snap on and draw myself a circle. It doesn't really matter where it goes because it's going to be adjusted. And set that to our RPA layer. And the color sets by layer, so it's gone magenta. And I want this to be adjustable. So I'm going to put in a linear parameter from the center, switch off the grid snap to somewhere up here. I don't want it down here because I'm going to have my tree tag there. And I'm going to call this RPR. RPR is root protection radius. It's an RPA circle, but the distance that we measure them with is the, the radius, RPR. And I only want one grip point, so we're just adjusting it from that point. Escape. And the action that's going to control that is going to be scale. And select parameter. And select the object. Hit enter. I'll just test that so I can now adjust the circle and it's also come up in the um, properties so I can put a value in directly and it adjusts it for me so close the test block and just in case because I have forgotten to mention this in, in when you select a, a parameter it has got a little thing to say show properties. If you click no, then you won't see it in the properties list. So make sure these are all clicked yes. Now the next thing I want to do is add a, a tree tag text. So I'm going to use an attribute. And I don't want its position to be locked. I want to be able to move it around if I need to. 
and I'm just going to call that tag and by default I'm going to have tag in there so that when I insert a block it won't have anything it won't have a number in there or anything it'll have tag to remind me that I haven't set it the text style has come up with arb if not set it to the text style and click OK and stick your tag where you like it I'm going to set the layer to arb tag so if we test that block now we've got an extra thing in the properties so I can actually put say T123 and it comes up and I can also move it around which is what I wanted so close the text block now I also want a colour spot in the middle to show where the tree centre is but also in the UK we use British Standard 5837 um, with a category system of A, B, C, U and each category has a colour so I want to be able to colour the category to colour the spot to match the category and um, dynamic blocks don't allow you to change colours or at least they don't on LT so I'm going to have to use a visibility state and create five spots each with a different colour because I want four for the categories and one for unset so I'm going to start by adding a donut donut is a modified polyline and they're very handy because they give you a nice spot of colour without having to use hatch I don't want it to be a ring I want it to be a solid circle if you want a ring then you need to set your inside diameter to whatever you like I'm setting mine to zero and I'm going to set the outside diameter to one now I'm going to stick it in the middle and assign that to arb symbol and it's taken on my neutral color which is going to be the unset color and like I said we need to have another four of these because we're going to use the visibility to control them so I'm going to copy let's do it down here I'm just put them on the grid so I can pick them up later I want four more and I need to add a parameter called visibility and I'll stick him here and I'm going to give him a name I'll just call him category okay and back to the block editor so we're going to use these visibility states and they basically um, for each visibility state you define you can decide what's visible and what isn't it sounds a bit complicated but it's very simple when you get used to it and you use these settings here which is visible or invisible and this just toggles a state so you can see what you're doing because otherwise you won't be able to see the invisible ones and that can be a bit annoying so I'm going to rename this first one as none nothing set and then a new one called a category a and then b and c and then u so starting with none actually before I do that I hit the escape I need to color these so let's have category A is green category B is blue and C is gray and U is red oops two set there okay so visibility state none I only want this one to show so I'm going to select these four 
and make them invisible. They're still there, I can have a look at them, but they're greyed out slightly, just to, sh but to show you that they're there. Visibility A, I only want the green one to show, so I'm going to select the other four and hide them. And then B, I just want the blue one. And C, grey one. And U, I just want the red one. Quickly check them. I think they're going to be okay. And switch them all on and grab them. And we need to put them all on top of each other. We can test the block. So if I now select it, I can adjust the RPA circle, adjust the canopy. I can change the tag number and I can change the category color. Blue, red, green, U, and if nothing's set, And just check I've got that on the right layer. Yes, I have. Okay. And he's on the right layer. Okay. So I'm going to close the block and save the changes. This is the, the old canopy block. So I'm going to insert the new one. Sorry, insert recent box. Arb tree. And stick him, take the grid lock off, stick him there. And the attribute table comes up, which um, I'm going to ignore for now. Because what I would do, you'd insert it once, and then you would just copy. To all your trees that you're going to do and adjust them and because we've got tag and a purple color we know that they haven't been adjusted yet so I can quite happily go along without worrying about getting mixed up RPR, I can put the tag in and I can set the category all from the properties I don't have to touch anything on the screen and if I want to move the tag I can because we made it movable and then go to the next one whatever they are just invent some things here U T22 and when you finished of course you would um, switch off the topographical trees just to leave yours on there and because we've used layers we don't have to go in the block to change colors we can just change our colors here if I want the RPA circles to be a different color they'll do it if I want to change the canopy just undo those 
and that's it really um, bear in mind that drawing this in meters your topographical survey may well be in millimeters in which you have to gonna have to scale your block up by a thousand um, and they're portable so you can copy one of these and just paste it onto your next drawing there's no need to redo all this every time you do it once if you want to modify it back into the block editor you could perhaps add a shadow arc axis lines if you wanted more text lines there's only so much you can do because um, it's not really a programming system it's very difficult to add intricate stuff but um, it's good as a sort of starting point for plotting trees without having to redraw every single tree it must it'll save time and that's it really good luck with that and um, see you on the next one